Hey guys, are you here with another bit for Blender? This one we're going to be talking about importance of blockout and how to start the blockout. I can see a lot of questions out there, you know, a lot of folks asking how to do this, how you guys doing blockouts, how to start the design, etc. So let's talk about uh, how blockouts get inspired, how you start the design, okay? Because that's the start of design is a blockout. The most important part of your design is going to be the blockout because it's the foundation, right? So, for example, this hovercraft I created last year, um, the idea for the flow, a general flow of the ship, was taken uh, from uh, this model by uh, Ivan Tansura. Uh, it's a concept model, and I think it's brilliant. I love this kind of very aggressive, very simple S, kind of like an angular S shape with this kind of a, you know, window here. So you can see that's kind of echoed in what I've done. Uh, though it's a completely different design, but the um, these two elements were sort of uh, you know inspired by uh, by uh, Ivan's work. The way it works, you start the block out and then you start working off of your shapes. Okay, so once you get the shield, uh, the the windshield and and the main shape, you start adding all these elements because you know uh, you kind of can see it, see them there, and. To be able to see elements in your design, you need to just keep working and keep designing. But if you're going to be copying other people and simply ripping off other design or simply modeling something that exists, you will never really improve, okay? So the way I work is I look at the design, I look at the, um, I look at the, at the concept art or like different concepts arts, okay? And I take a one element or two or like, a, like I said, like a flow of the design. Uh, the general idea and uh, then just gonna go with it uh, on my own because that's the only way to learn now what you can use uh, references for is stuff like hinges latches you know uh, engines whatnot because that exists in real life and you can make a sci-fi version of it but um, the the shape itself should be you know coming from your imagination and that's you know that's something you need to train you need to learn how to do it literally day by day by designing new things but challenging yourself to you know create something new so let's say we wanted to i don't know design a simple truck or something okay so of course we need wheels right so we're gonna you know create some wheels and rotate them on 90 degrees here uh, let's say we wanted to so let's move this wheel here and we're going to mirror this across uh, the cursor so in fact, you know what, let's move this in edit mode. So if you're going to move it in edit mode, the origin point is going to stay in the middle. So there you go. Then we can uh, mirror it to the other side. And now let's say that we wanted to, uh, to have, uh, you know, smaller wheels in the front and let's say larger wheels in the back. Okay, something like this, all right. Okay, maybe that's too big, but you know, something like this, right. And then we need some kind of uh, body in here. So let's grab a cube. And move it in here and let's scale it on you know x axis and then we need to work with this okay now what do we want we want a tall vehicle we want a you know really low vehicle we could have something like this and then we can start chiseling it okay so let's uh, let's say we want something you know something really flat and uh, aerodynamic okay really you know really low but uh, not too low. So we want to position somewhere here, for example. Now, um, do we want this to be sticking outside? Uh, kind of looks like a sportsy thing or more of an off-roady thing. Do you know what I mean? So then we can just, you know, keep chiseling, like I said, and uh, refining uh, our shape. We can create, for example, something like this. What do we want here on the top? Maybe we want something else. Let's recover this cutter and maybe let's create something like this, right? and uh, maybe that's kind of boring maybe let's create something really steep here going like this and maybe like this okay all right boom and there's your car see what i mean and you just go with it uh you know you just go with it uh, let's make it a bit wider okay at the same time let's create some kind of interest here let's copy this to the other side and you know we can just start having fun all right um, so boom and you know there's our truck basically right 
Uh, maybe that's too high. Maybe somewhere here, like this. Okay. Maybe we want some jet engines at the back. Okay. So we're going to put them in here. And this stage is really important. Like, how do you want these jets? You want them straight? You want them on the bottom? You want them coming, you know, like really insane? Okay. Um, uh, you know, how do you want them to look? Okay. You want them to maybe start somewhere here. Let's control B this and let's just, uh, you know, scale this one down. Okay, maybe we can create something like this, which is really interesting, right? Uh, this kind of a design, right? Uh, because why not? Okay, no one's gonna tell you what to do. It's your design, right? You can do whatever the hell you want. Um, and that's actually the scary part, because when you, we are told what to do, we kind of have directives. Uh, of course, it's easier, you know, but the concepting is not easy. Okay, now we can just make it smaller. So the, the emphasis is going to be more on the car. We can make it bigger. The emphasis is going to be more on the engine. Uh, so, you know, you, you can really try different things in here, right? We can have two of them, okay? So we can have two of them, right? This, right? And boom, there's your car. We can rotate them if you want to, so they don't have to be completely parallel to the ground, right? You can be kind of sticking out like that. Uh, the same with the wheels, they could be a little bit more interesting, right? We could do something like this, or uh, we could just make it really narrow and kind of, you know, make um, like a massive, uh, massive sci-fi wheels, maybe like this, kind of, you know, uh, this kind of a design, all right? See what I mean? Or a completely different feel, uh, maybe, you know, let's apply the scale here. And let's go with something like this and uh, scale it in and scale it in here, extrude it. Okay, more kind of a powerful design of the wheels. Okay, more like a um, less racy ones, but kind of more like a, you know, otherworldly, you know what I mean? Like for um, traveling somewhere, you know, on, on, on Mars or whatnot. So you need, you know, you need to think what you want from your design, right? Or maybe you want to create a transport vehicle. Okay, so let's grab one of this wheel, Shift D, and move it somewhere here. And we're going to Shift D and move it here. Grab those two, Shift D X, move them here, make them a little bit bigger on the on it on the back, right? So you got something like this. And we're gonna make a, you know, a tr a sort of like a transport vehicle. Okay, so. Let's make it flatter, okay, and then wider like this, right? And move it somewhere here, okay? Uh, maybe even longer than this, something like that. And then let's, you know, let's start slicing, okay? Uh, because why the hell not? And let's say it's gonna be a transport vehicle, so we want something like this, right? And then we want, um, we want it to transport some containers or whatnot, so we can just add a, a, you know, a con another cube here, make it into a container, kind of in like a massive one, maybe somewhere here in the back, uh, select these edges, uh, you know, uh, grab some, whoops, grab some loop cuts in here, and uh, maybe a few of them, I can't be bothered to move them around, so I'm going to do it this way. Let's just see a macro these two, okay, and bevel this, right, and uh, and there you go, and then here you could create, for example, I don't know, a crane or something, something that, you know, will deal with this, uh, with this cargo, or uh, maybe even some kind of a, uh, you know, driving cockpit or whatnot, right, so let's make it bigger and maybe, you know, put it somewhere here, make it narrower so it kind of sticks out, and longer right and maybe we're gonna we're gonna create like a you know sort of a tr truck uh um sh truck like sheep so let's cut it in here and maybe cut it like this so the guy can you know see uh looking down and uh, cut it straight here and uh maybe let's apply uh, whoops not this one let's apply this and uh, maybe crazy geo here let's mirror to the other side okay and sharpen this bevel this and boom you got your truck you know so you know it really depends on what you want what kind of feel you got well you really need to think what kind of feel you got for like for example i can already see that i probably would do something like this maybe to 
make this shape a little bit lighter. Basic feel of what you're doing, right, is, is the most important thing first, okay? Never go for details first. Always play with balance. Think about it like... Um, photographers thinks about think about light and shadows i think always about the balance between lights and shadows okay when i for example um design um when i for example you know design this okay do you think the lights in this um, design are accidental no fucking way the light in here okay and the lights in here and the lights in here the warm ones form a triangle because i want you to travel across the whole body of the bike you can barely see this right but it's really noticeable because it's warm nothing in this image is accidental these lights again form a very strong triangle here because that's strong and these two are strong and you're going to be traveling across you're going to be drawn in here as well the same with this helmet like i, uh, I was discussing this in the video last time the reason why for example this seven here is of the same color as this light because this light is really, really strong. And if I didn't have it in here, you will get stuck in here. There's a lot of detail, a lot of contrast, a lot of warm, you know, warm light. You'll get drawn in here, okay? And there's, a, you know, a uh, logo, right? And a massive here logo as well. This is a really strong area, whereas this one is very empty. So this seven being colored, in the way it's colored, it pulls all the attention back to the front and also front is blurry which is even worse right so this was difficult to balance okay difficult to make this void feel important and in design is the same thing okay if i didn't have this element this would just look ridiculous right just uh, imbalanced you know you need to balance things up okay and then um you need to also think like for example like this cut in here i don't think it fits okay i'll probably do something else in here so let's recall this cutter or oh, it's applied right right so probably what i would do is you know um cut it a little bit differently in here okay maybe let's grab the angle and you know slice it a bit differently here maybe like this right and it's gonna be a bit more calm okay so let's just apply this sharpen right and there you go and maybe i would just you know maybe i would just do something else like for example create this kind of a cut which corresponds okay with this line here so i got this kind of an echoing going on here right and this is much more of an interesting shape and i could have a cockpit in here right going like that or going like this right and like this and like this because why not right and boom look at this it already looks much better right see what i mean so you need to see or learn how to see lines and shapes playing together and um, you know you need to see the symbiosis between shapes for example in my opinion now this wheel i think is gonna be better than this one because because if i move this one here okay so gy move it in here and move this one in here make it larger uh, these wheels the problem with these wheels is that this area creates a very heavy feeling for the wheels okay whereas this one is much lighter okay so if i grab this wheel here okay uh, maybe somewhere here right and i remove this wheel and shift the x move this wheel to the front uh, it will probably create much more pleasing design yeah uh, that's just my thinking Okay, let's make this bigger and actually move it to the front somewhere here now watch this if i move this wheel really to the front okay and this one really to the back it's gonna make this whole uh, uh, truck shape a little bit more sort of floaty sort of more sportsy if i move them closer right it's gonna be a little bit more off-roady you see what i mean because it's more compact kind of like a suv more of a feel and this one is a little bit more you know more crazy more sci-fi especially if you're going to start adding you know spokes in here right so if you're going to grab a cube and start you know adding some stuff here right okay like this right and uh let me just move it here on x-axis there you go and create another one in here okay maybe smaller right see what i mean so this will already create an interesting uh, feel here okay boom right whereas these wheels they feel much more massive you could uh, especially because there's like a massive you know sort of flats uh, side to them 
and they just feel enormous, very powerful and strong, kind of static, whereas these wheels are much more dynamic, okay? So there you go, you know, um, this is uh, how I would approach block out, and don't rush into details, because when you start cutting and slicing, it's very easy to get lost, like there's a lot of lines in here going on already, whereas this one is much simpler, okay, much simpler, much more easy to to find problems, whereas in this mess, you know, it starts getting more and more difficult. So the more elements you're gonna add, the more difficult it's gonna become, okay? So for example, I would never start working on this engine before, you know, I actually get the balance right, okay? I need to get the balance right. I still don't know if I want this engine to be bigger. I want it maybe to be moved a little bit somewhere here, okay? Maybe something like this. This looks pretty awesome. Maybe I want this to be, you know, kind of going up like that, because why the hell not? Yeah, this is also pretty cool. So, you know, I don't know what I want yet. Maybe uh, instead of, you know, this kind of a cut here, I want something a little bit more flat, like this, right? Uh, or uh, I'm going to cut it in here, like this, right? And let's just apply it, and come on. Let's apply it, smart apply. Let's grab these, right, and, uh, you know, insert them a little bit. And then I'm going to extrude them, but I'm going to move G uh, to maybe move it somewhere here and scale it, okay? Maybe I want to create something like this, okay? Maybe that's what I'm after, you see what I mean? So you always need to play and, and check what works for your design and what doesn't, okay? And until you are sure that you're ready to move on, I would never go into mid details or, you know, especially higher details. So I would not starting to, you know, I don't know, starting to cut small bits in, you know, in this one or some, oh, you know, some, let's say some wedge cuts or whatnot like that, you know, uh, because that, that, that is a small detail, okay, that is going to bring a lot of attention to itself and you don't want that, you want as plain as possible. And uh, to start working, even without bevels, you, know, you can work without bevels, it's fine. Uh, just have the cavity on and you're gonna be okay, okay? So the way I work with uh, Pure for example, this is my uh, folder of stars, this is in screenshots, which is probably about 3,000 screenshots, okay? Now the reason why I have them all together, because the design is consistent. I don't care when I'm designing a ship or gun or whatever, I'm gonna look at everything. I'm just gonna literally, you know, do like this, okay? Just look at certain flows of lines, of angles, you know, how, 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 how they put elements together, okay? Angled lines with straight lines. I'm not looking at specific shape, like, you know, this is amazing, right? I mean, this whole game is just fucking crazy. Um, so, uh, I, I'm just browsing literally like this, okay? And I'm looking for something to get me going, okay? When something get me going, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Right, so I'm looking for an anchor, for a visual anchor that will, you know, sort of say, "Dude, that let's go," and and my brain's gonna go. So I'm look, you know, let's say I'm designing a gun. I'm gonna look just at guns. I'm gonna look at everything. Okay, everything. You know, uh, ship legs, uh, landing gear, fucking wings, uh, laboratory equipment. I don't care what it is. You know, this kind of a stuff. You know, this could be, for example, a cover of a massive gun or like a rail gun or something. Okay. You know, um, right? It could be like a. Um, this could be a base, and this could be, for example, you know, here uh, the barrel sticking out, right? It doesn't really matter what it is. You just gotta get inspired, okay? And that's how I. That's how I work. And then once I'm done, okay, once I'm done, I close this, right, completely. I'm not. I don't have it open on the side monitor or whatever. I close it completely. Just get rid of it. You know, so right click and you know close, right? Boom. And then I start designing, okay? Because when you, once more time, this is very important, when you work from other people's design directly, you will never become a good artist, okay? Because you need to, yeah, you need to go through this difficult time of designing and starting a block out till you get better and better and better. And every time you design something, it should be more challenging. So don't rest on your, you know, on your laurels, yeah, just, just keep pushing harder and harder, it's really important, right, so anyway guys, hope, uh, hope it helps you out, that's it from me for today, got a longer video, but I think might help some people out, and, uh, you know, um, keep on blocking out, yeah, thanks for watching, catch you next one.